is bringing some community members together. Our Erica Lunsford shows us how people are turning to prayer in the wake of the tragedy. You are king. Sunday at Fountain Park in Rock Hill, people gathered together in prayer for the country. The, uh, I guess the events of uh, last night, mm -hmm. um, yeah, just weighing on our hearts, yes. um, a lot of fear, a lot of division, and so mm -hmm. we just wanted to come today and to pray um, for the peace of the Lord, for, yes. um, for unity. Andy Tonkin and his wife Lisa shared that for almost a year, they have been coming out every Sunday evening for prayer as part of a group called 24-7 Prayer York County. Just 24 hours after the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump, their prayer is going out for the future of the nation. We are one. Um, we want unity and um, no division, and you know we want to be able to come together and. Um, yeah, just there's power in that and coming together. Officials with the Biden administration also calling for unity. On Sunday, they said, quote, they will be pausing all outbound communications and working to pull down television ads as quickly as possible. While speaking with political science professor Susan Roberts, she shared that she believes pulling the ads is a good move. I think pulling those ads, um, given that that's been the tone of some of the ads, a threat to democracy, um, is smart. I was trying to think in anticipation of talking with you, how would I uh, frame this event were I a Democratic strategist working particularly on the Biden campaign? And quite frankly, I can't see a way to do it except turning the discussion more to policy, which is going to be difficult. Moving forward, the Tonkin family hopes the United States will be just that, united. Erica Lunsford, WBTV, on your